Hello everyone, it's Bubonic Zombie. Welcome back to Criminal Minds. And now we are on to case two. In the last episode we finished case one. We found out that it was Jin that was the killer. Wasn't expecting that, but okay. Let's continue. And the last case uh, we dealt with um, borderline personality disorder in an art school in Austin, te Texas. This one we're dealing with a bomb. Uh, no spark, a complex and dangerous spark timer that is used in explosive devices. It's stolen from a downtown Seattle hospital. Okay, let's go. Oh, look at little ratty. He that wrestle with us strengthens our nerves and sharpens our skill. Our antagonist is our helper. For some reason, there's a lot of lag in this game. I don't know why. It wasn't like that in the early episodes, but in the last episode and this one, it's lagging quite a bit. Okay. JJ, so Seattle Hospital reported the theft of an item that can be used to make a nuclear bomb? Yes, it's called a triggered spark gap. It seems innocent enough when used by doctors to break up kidney stones. Kidney stones. However, in the wrong hands, it's a bomb detonator. There's information about this case in my briefcase somewhere around here. Okay, so you gotta find... His briefcase, which is right there. <laughs> okay. Okay, there's a lot of stuff. There we go, there's a thimble. Win. Got a briefcase key and an FBI shield. Okay. Looks like it's locked. I'm gonna open up a briefcase, Hotch. And to get the case info, wanna take a look, Hotch? Okay. This is the triggered spark gap. Let's see what we can make of it. It's smaller than I thought. Portable. This could have been a one-man job. These devices are all over the country. If the unsub took it from this specific hospital, they probably belong to a local terrorist group. It's not going to be easy to root out a terrorist group in the U.S. Won't be able to ID a member without see without something else to go on. What about the device itself? We could track any local online activity mentioning a triggered spark gap. Summary, the trigger spark gap is small. It could have been a one-man job. Since it came from a Seattle hospital, it could have been a local terrorist. We could track any local online activity mentioning a triggered spark gap. Okay, device description. Okay, if we want to track online activity mentioning the triggered spark gap, we should talk to Garcia. Let's get going. There's a bomb involved. The faster we catch this unsub, the better. We're dealing with the terrorism now. This is a completely different type of unsub. This case would be a dangerous one. 
first step is to gather information we already have on the device. We should review the information with Garcia. Okay. What do you have for me, guys? Okay. Nice description. All right. A little of this, a little of that, and voila! I've looked through all local internet searches mentioning the stolen device, and guess what? We got a culprit. Quick work, Garcia. We'll call the local police and tell them to bring the owner of that computer registration number in for questioning. Okay, and we are here. Can you loca locate some ID on this guy, JJ? Should be around here. Then I can get started. Okay. There's a camera. An ID. Let's find the ID. We should run it with Garcia. Militia leader ID. Sure thing, sexiness. One profile. Three big bad militia man coming right up. Printed. He's got a strong motivation, but I gotta say, for a leader, he does an awful lot of work for other people. Thanks, Angel. We can try using this to get something out of him. Okay. Militia leader profile. Hi, Detective Cooper. We're the Behavioral Analysis Unit. The FBI sent us from Quantico. On the way over, we requested that the owner of a computer sending out threatening messages be brought in for questioning. Your suspect is in the interrogation room and definitely heads a mo local militia group under the name of Eagle in his spare time. We had an officer collect his possessions. Can you make sure to brief me when you're done so I can give orders to my squad? Of course, we'll keep you updated. Okay. More tasks. Give Detective Cooper a briefing. Interrogate the militia leader. Okay. Oh, that is a mm, interesting whiteboard. Doesn't look like anything in here I can do. Oh! Okay. Alright, we need to know your name so we can run your profile. I go by Eagle, pal. That's all you need to know. Okay. So what? You know my name? You have all my stuff. Why should I tell you the only secrets I got left? We do have all your stuff, John. Thanks for reminding me. I'm sure the filing department would be happy to get it out and let me take a look. You got nothing on me. Okay. So if it's anything like the show, this guy's not going to be the unsub. Okay. Look through his stuff, and... That's a lot of stuff. Okay. We have a laptop, pocket knife, and rifle parts. Okay. So... Look at the militia leader's email. I guess we can do that. Do that with Garcia or just put it somewhere? Okay. Take it, we can show him the rival parts. Look what I found, John. 
I don't know what that is. I know the stash is yours. Do you know how strict the arms laws are in this country? Tell me who you work for. I don't work for anyone. I'm the leader. More like a lackey. Who's really in charge? What? I ain't no lackey. I ain't telling you nothing. You should talk. Unless you want to take your chances. I heard the sheriff is running for mayor this year. You brought illegal weaponry in onto government property. You just love to make an example out of someone like you. Fine, fine. I don't know who's in charge. They send me anonymous messages and I just do what they say. Your boss sends you anonymous messages? Can we access them on your computer? Yes! Please, will you put a good word for me with the sheriff? One more thing. The computer's encrypted. How do we decode it? <sighs> There's a flash drive in my jacket. You can use that. Come on, ma'am, let me go. Summary! John was caught with illegal weapons on government property, so he has to talk to save himself. John admitted that his boss sent him anonymous messages. He doesn't know who his boss is. Maybe we can access these anonymous messages on John's computer. Okay. You aren't going anywhere. Maybe the sheriff won't be so hard on you. We'll see once I get the flash drive out of your jacket. Okay. You like the jacket he's wearing, or... Oh, here it is. This jacket's a little bulky. We can cut it. Ooh, hidden space. Got the flash drive. It's oil? Okay. Set up John's laptop here. Okay, there we go. Now we need to plug it in. Every single step! Crack the encryption. And... What's next? Find a way to turn on Eagle's laptop. Where's the nearest plug? There's one, like, right there. Rusty shut needs some of the lubricated. We have oils, and look at all of those cables! Okay. Okay. And we have the AC plug for the laptop. Let's go back here. Is it here? Find John's code is on the flash drive. Okay, Garcia, honey pie, show us your heavenly hacking skills. Just as I expected, his laptop is a trap. 
we don't select the right application to run, the hard drive will be erased. Let me run some an analytics on these files and see if we can figure out which one is the right one. Okay, it's once again, guess who? File name does not contain any animal words. Okay. So. Is that this one? Not that one. Not that. Not that. File name does not contain any color words. Okay. So, that one. Not that. That. Okay. There are no even numbers in the file name. That one and that one, that one, and that one. Okay. There are at least two capital letters in the file name. There are no duplicate numbers anywhere in the file name. Okay, so that one's gone. Duplicate numbers. Okay, and the last one. There are no identical consecutive letters in the file name. Okay, Jupiter Meltdown 5. Okay, valid email application confirmed. That's the one! Time to launch it to see what dirt we can uncover on this dirt bag. Okay, looks like someone was trying to get parts from John to make a bomb. Let's print out a hard copy. Eagle, I have man. Let's see. Eagle, I've managed to get a device called a Triggered Spark Gap, just when I need to set off a nuke. Smooth snatch. There is no way they will trace it back to us. I need a couple more parts. If you got any suppliers, let me know and we'll set up a rendezvous. A friend. Print. Let me guess the printer is going to be out of ink or out of paper. I see you printed it out. Let's get in and see what Lee has to say about this. Okay. John about the email okay but we will do that in the next episode thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you later bye